Okay, so I'm at the I'm at the uh, gate. Nope, the runway. So I'm gonna switch the tower and then ask for clearance. Request uh, clearance. I don't know why it's click. It's clickering like that. Atlanta Tower Beach Craft, November 42 Juliet Alpha, ready for departure runway eight right IFR to Monroe. Beachcraft November 42 Juliet Alpha QNH 30 decimal one nine or one zero nine or five at one five. Cleared for takeoff runway eight right. So 3019er is the barometer setting that I'm going to change. Cleared for takeoff runway 8 right beach craft November 42 Juliet Alpha. 30... Okay, so I just tapped on it just to see. 0 9 or 5 at 1 5. 1 9 Caution the generic landing runway 8 left. Cleared to land runway 8 right. Alright, so there goes the barometer change. So apparently this runway is at a thousand feet. Of elevation? I don't know. I don't really know. Uh, here's my backup stuff. Um, I, so I noticed that when I change it here, it changed it here here as well. But for some reason all my electronics were dead, then I should be able to still fly with, with these items. Alright, so we're good so far. Uh, let me go ahead and take this off my screen. Let's go ahead and taxi to the runway. I'm just going to basically start it. I'm just going to keep going. Um, I'm going to put one flap down, which I, I did over here. See, I, I have one flap down. In theory, I should be clear. The rudders on the Xbox is really sticky, so you gotta really push it lightly. Alright, so I'm just gonna pick up speed a little bit. And then I'm gonna punch it once I feel I've reached max or whatever. Here I am some more. So the rudders, I'm lightly pushing on the rudders because so many times I've gone in, in serpentine motion trying to mess with these things. So I'm hitting 90 knots on the ground. You'll start to see the plane rise up a little bit, but I think 90 knots. I think 90 knots is, is I think over 100 feet uh, knots on the ground is just too much. So I'm gonna put up my landing gear. I don't know when you're supposed to do your when you're supposed to do your um your flaps, but I'm gonna put up my flaps so that I have maximum speed. So I'm using my left thumbstick to keep my nose pitched. I'm going to trim it with the right bumper and my right thumbstick. So I'm pitching it up. So now I'm going to turn on autopilot. So autopilot is doing some of the work. Autopilot is doing most of the work for me now. Alright, I'm going to interact with ATC. They wanted me to. They want to send me. <laughs> they want to send me to a different uh, uh, signal. So let's go ahead and get there. One two five decimal seven for Beechcraft to Juliet Alpha. So com frequency is one two five seven, which. When I acknowledge it, or I'll hit one. So one two five seven zero. Then I'm going to contact them. Atlanta departure Beechcraft November four two Juliet Alpha is passing three thousand six hundred feet, climbing thirteen thousand feet. Beechcraft November four two Juliet Alpha Atlanta departure QNH three zero decimal one nine continuous land. 
All right, so our goal is 13,000 feet. We're, we're pitching, we're elevating at 1,300 feet per minute, I think. Um, and our airspeed is trying to stay around 90 knots. So it's at 87 right now. What I can do is I'm not, I don't fully understand the mixture, but I was told that it's basically like it's, it's, f it's force feeding all the fuel into the engine. So if you let up on the mixture, it'll actually help with your airspeed because it's not like flooding. It's you're not like flooding the engine. So I've I've seen around like 40 percent. 50 or 40 makes a difference. So now hitting 89 and I'm still pitching at 1300 feet per minute. So it's looking good so far. Alright, let me just check outside. My landing gear is up. Sometimes these things beep and I have no idea what it is. I don't know what O means, I should look into it eventually. Alright, I'm going to check out this map because that's where my, my problem was last time. Okay, so here's where I'm a little skeptical. So in order to interact with this toolbar, you have to push in on the left thumbstick. Sometimes it doesn't seem to take and even though you see the, the toolbar and the and the, the the pointer, it still thinks you're in this mode, and it starts to wherever I'm moving, it'll it'll move the yoke. So I have to turn it on and then just do it ever so slightly just to see if it inter interferes with the yoke. Then I know that it's okay. There's been a bunch of times where I've fallen right out of the sky because. Because I, I, I think that I'm not messing with the yoke. Alright, so let's go over here. Let's check out where I am. So in theory... Oops, that's going in the wrong direction. So in theory, I'm supposed to be turning around. So I don't know what the point of that... Of, I don't know what the point of this route is. Now what I'm... This was the problem. is I just kept going and I never... I was right on the edge of this all the time and never went, went anywhere. So I'm just going to break that and I'm going to just go on this one. Um, here's my flight plan. So currently Mansec is where I'm at and I want to skip that and go to EA1. Um, so I think I'm going to use the outside controls to get here and then I'm going to use the menu to activate this leg of the trip and I'm going to activate it so now I'm okay so now this is the first time I'm doing this so let's see where let's see what GPS does so right here you can see that it's now going from the Atlanta airport to EA1, which is 25 nautical miles, which is 25, 25 nautical miles, uh, it's about 16 seconds, it's about 16 seconds over here until I get to it. So that's actually not what I want it still looks like I'm in that same spot. This just looks like it's just flying around. Hmm. Not really making any progress here. So it's trying to go to EA1. Maybe it's W. EA, EA might be east. I want to go to west. So let's just let's try this. I'm going to activate that. All right. Okay. That looks like what I want. So now it disregarded 
the east and now we're flying towards this and it hasn't dropped me out of the sky so that's good so here's the Atlanta airport I'm supposed to be heading west so it looks like we're heading it's like our GPS is pointing west so seems fair Alright, how are the passengers back here? You guys are okay? Then just come back. See how you doing? Oh. Alright, so now, just mess with that. They want me to contact Atlantis. So there's another. Atlanta Center is another place. Another radio frequency. So I'm going to tune into 1280. One, two, eight. Atlanta Center Contact them. November 42 Juliet Alpha is at 10,200 feet, climbing 13,000 feet. Beachcraft November 42 Juliet Alpha Atlanta Center QNH 30 decimal 19 continue to wait on this plan. All right, everything seems fine. I'm at the. I don't know what QNH is, but I'm assuming that's the barometer meeting. I'm at 31 niner. Things seem cool, things seems fine. There goes Atlanta, I think. I've seen the PC, I've seen them kind of zoom in, which would be really nice to zoom in and see, but I can't zoom in. I can just move around in the cockpit, but I haven't figured out how to zoom. All right. Apparently, there's a different frequency they want me on. One three five decimal zero Beechcraft to Juliet Alpha. One three five zero. Atlanta Center Beechcraft November four two Juliet Alpha is passing eleven thousand two hundred feet, climbing thirteen thousand feet. Beechcraft November four two Juliet Alpha Atlanta Center QNH three zero decimal one nine are continue to wait on this plan. Alright, cool. So there's other stuff going on. We're getting. So I'm gonna push this down to 80. To 80 knots because we just kind of want to get to our cruising altitude. And then we can start. Um, Is that me? Oh, Delta, okay. <laughs> Delta 783, contact Atlanta Center on 128 decimal zero. Good day. So getting close to that 1300. So here's, here's the funny thing. So here we are. Once you start getting to around 70 and 60, that's when you'll hear a bunch of beeping and stalling. I don't want to set this Going to, to 70 or 60. Alright, it seems to be following GPS. Alright. Uh, so when I'm in this view, I'll hit, I'll push in on the right thumbstick to reset my view. And then I'll do um, the left bumper and D-pad up to get to that view. If I do that again, it'll like push me forward. This is down, D-pad down. Alright, so this particular one... 
knots is 40, so to get to this, this is 40 knots, or 40 nautical miles, which way? 23 seconds? Minutes. Minutes, okay. Nope. I think it's minutes. So, 20, so 21 minutes to get there. Yeah, that looks like 20. That looks like I don't know. It's going down too quickly. It's eight. It's at 18 minutes now. Oh, maybe my airspeed is changing. It's at 109 instead of um, instead of 80. So we've reached our, our cruising altitude for right now as the eight, the air traffic control changes. But yeah, I'm, that would make sense as to why this number drop down so quickly. Alright, cool. So at this point, while you're cruising, it's basically fuel management. So here's my fuel. Uh, let me see if I can... While I'm holding down the left bumper, I'm using... Nope. I almost that again. So in order to, like, release... I'm going to hold down the, the left bumper, and I'm going to push A. And that kind of gives me a free range mode. Um, so I'm using the left trigger and right trigger to go up and down. But so here's my fuel on the left wing and on the right wing. So basically for the rest of this trip is just trying to figure out how to get a, uh, a nice, fast uh, airspeed while managing your fuel. Let's see if these guys said anything to me. Alright. There's, there's nothing to confirm, so it's just a bunch of chatter. Last time they had me fly at 16,000. Now they have me at 13, so I don't know. Alright, cool. I'm doing about 130. Okay, so here's the, th here's the thing again. So I'm at 13,000, but they don't think I am, so let me see if they think I should ascend or descend. Expedite your climb. So they they think I'm below. It's usually when they say expedite, that means that I haven't reached it yet. So all right. So okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's see what happens at a. Uh, Go to 14,000 and see how off things are. So I'm going to leave it at 13 and because we have this 100 feet. It's going to go up one. So when you turn on the FLC mode, it uses the current airspeed that you have. So at the current airspeed, we're just going to go up like tiny bit. So I'm going to put it down to so like 100. Kind of jumps. Now they want me to go to 16,000. Okay. Climb and maintain 5,000 feet delta 694. Delta 694 traffic is 12 o'clock tree miles at 4,900 feet generic. Report them in sight. 
guess it doesn't like the negative, which is good, I guess. So, 16. Alright, so now we're, at, now we're supposed to go to 16. FLC mode is on. Uh, we're gonna notice that get a faster climb at 80 knots. Alright, it's 16 minutes until we get to V1. Look at that. So we're at 80 knots, but we're only doing it 300 feet per minute. This is where we try and start playing with um, stuff here. Alright, so as you're going, you think you want more power from the from the engines and stuff. So this is they're both at a hundred percent. This is at fifty-two, and you'll actually hear the engine. So let's go up and see if you hear the engine go faster or slower. So there's a drop in that sound, so it's going lower. And then yeah, it was it was dropping down here. Okay. So I can't do it all the way to zero because then it there's no fuel getting to the engine. So I'm gonna do it 30 percent. Let's see if that helps out. Uh, five, so 500 feet per minute. Seems fine. Some, some, sometimes they harass you. I was looking for I was looking for more speed. I didn't turn on that light. Oh, I think it's outside. <laughs> All right, so we're we're I raised it up because I'm trying to get some speed. Four hundred and fifty five hundred. Seems okay. bit of turbulence there. We take a look and see what the wind looks like. I like option three. 19 knot wind from the left. Uh, I guess from the south according to this map here or this gauge. Uh, option one gives you 18 from the left, one from in front of you. Option two gives you one. This one gives you... Oh, so they've said something to me. Without pitching the nose. Climb and maintain 4,000 feet. Delta 2909. So I don't know what they said. So let's have them say it again. Try and click it before they start saying something else. <laughs> and get to it. Pressing two on the keypad. Atlanta Center, didn't copy. Please say again for Beechcraft to Juliet Alpha. Delta two nine zero nine. Contact Atlanta Center on one two eight decimal zero. Good day. Beechcraft to Juliet Alpha. Climb and maintain sixteen thousand feet. Oh wow! I never acknowledged that. Okay. Delta 
climb and maintain 16,000 feet Beechcraft to Juliet Alpha. Atlantis Center Delta 69 or 44,900 feet. Delta 69 for Atlantis Center QNH 30 decimal 10 continue yep. as planned. So we're getting to 16,000. That's good. Once we do that, we'll start to pick up some speed again as we uh, as we stop pitching. So we're already down here. Yep. These are fine. So here goes our fuel. And nine minutes until we get to one. So what's the next? I don't know if I know how to fully understand how to. I'm guessing uh, who is the Victor Umbrella the Uniform. Victor Uniform Zoo. Should be the next one. Yeah, who's. I think I'll keep it like this. Alright, so I did hear them mention my name. Or my call sign. Expedite your climb to 1600. So it's probably the same problem. Let's see if they do it again. And I think this time I'll I'll play with the outside button because it only goes up in hundreds instead of thousands. So if they say it again, then I'll. Do something else. Going 119 knots, so. Alright, cool. So now, let's see. Let's go with 300. Let's see if that's the problem. Vertical mode is on. But, I don't know, it worked, I guess, because I'm at 300. Right. Let's see what these people say. Atlantis Center Air Shuttle 6013 is at flight level 310, descending 10,000 feet. Air Shuttle 6013 Atlantis Center, continue as planned. Alright, so at this point... Because I'm doing an because I'm doing an ILS, I need to know what the frequency is, the radio uh, frequency that I'm going to need to tap into for the airport that we're going to. Um, so it is KMLU. This is the NXI. Okay, can I turn this down? Right, this guy's just chatting it up. That's for COM 2. Using COM 1. Nope, that's volume C. Yeah, I touch that volume. Good day. Alright, uh, I don't know how to change it. Okay, but uh, KMLU, um, the, so this is the NXI, the GS1000 NXI add-on. The, the stock one, you had the ability of, you can change um, different screens. Uh, this one doesn't have the screens. Um, so, let me see if I can figure out. Alright, I think they're telling me to...
Alright. Keep talking so it's making it difficult for me to hand up. <laughs> Do it, man. Tune in, contact. Atlanta Center Beechcraft November 42 Juliet Alpha is passing 16,300. All right, so let's try this trip again. So this airport has runway six is west. They're probably not going to have me do 18. All right. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm starting off on the runway. All right. Let's try again. Flight plans and stuff like that. That's that's, that's been pretty amazing. Okay. So here I'm at. So I've, we've done a lot of stuff already, or a lot of communicating. So they want me to make. Go to uh, fly to 13,000. And uh, my barometer is 3014. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and set it. Alright. Doesn't seem too crazy. They want me at 13,000. So I usually remove this screw while I'm doing this because it's hard to see this right here, this section here when that other thing is there. So 13,000. Yeah. I went to the so I went to the right to increase and it somehow registered as all the way to the left. Yeah boy. So 13,000. So that that could, those glitches are fine on the ground, but when you're in the sky, that 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 means something. <coughs> so let's go at a hundred. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, let's do ninety. Let's do ninety. We're gonna do our nav, follow our GPS, and we're set for right now. Okay. Um, one flap's already down. Parking brake is on. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. I've already said that I'm clear, so let's... I'm using my right rudder. Keep straight. Now my UNH left rudder. I'm going a little Clear faster. Now I'm just going to gun it. And I'm really fighting with these rudders here. Make this look smooth. <laughs> Alright, so, I mean, it's fine. I'm going to stop fighting with the rudders and just fly. <laughs> um, landing, landing gears up. Um, flaps, flap is up. I'm gonna now let go of the yoke and play with the trim. I don't have to do much. All right, and now I'm gonna put on autopilot. All right, so they want me to do some communication. Pushing one. So switching Birmingham frequency. Departure Beechcraft November 42 Juliet Alpha is passing 1,900 feet. Climbing so I'm still heading feet. east right now. So I, I, I don't like that. Alright, I think we're fine with that. I can remove that screen. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here with with this. 
this is definitely the opposite direction. Oh, interesting. Because of that airspace? Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to fiber. Because I don't like what it's doing. Let's open up that flight plan. Go to fiber and let activate that leg. Let's do it. All right, we seem to be turning, so we can see fiber is in is in there. Uh, let's put our mixture down some get some more out of the out of the engine you look at that crater We're gonna try and hit that 13, 13,000 uh, altitude, and then they're gonna tell us to go to 16,000. Hopefully, the game doesn't crash after that. What's that? Sticker, sticker warnings. Look at those clouds. I think the clouds are the best, is the best feature in this game. Look at that. That is pretty neat. A little crater. I wonder what's down there. Alright, back. Going back to my seat. Alright, so let's see how this is working out, panning out. Where am I? Down here. Eventually it'll get to Vuz. Vuz. And then we're on fiber. And you know what? I want to have this mimic what was going on before. Let me see if I can. So for the fuel, or me, then the left main had, oh, holy crap, I didn't realize that was live. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Okay, I think we'll leave it like that. Oh, that was neat. Alright, so we have less fuel in our left. Alright. Okay, seems fine. We're doing 90 knots. Get the 13. Now, what if you saw like a gigantic dragon? Flying. I mean, not like the um, the f the fantasy dragons. I'm talking about like the, the anime, the Japanese dragons. It's a huge one. The Godzilla one. What was that? Um, I don't remember the name. Oh. So scary.
so it says I have one viewer. Is that viewer me? Or is that somebody else? If you are, say something in the chat. Let me know who you are. Alright, so we're at roughly 9,000 feet. Hitting 90 knots. Think we're doing okay. We're on course for fiber. trying to do this. See if that's a mess with the stream any. Looks fine. Alright. So let's acknowledge the handoff. <laughs> I'm trying to copy. Going to one tree, four decimal, zero five Beechcraft, two Juliet Alpha. One three four zero five zero. Atlanta Center Beechcraft November four two Juliet Alpha is passing one zero thousand two hundred feet, climbing thirteen thousand feet. Beechcraft November four two Juliet Alpha Atlanta Center Q and H three zero decimal one four continue to fiber as planned. All right. Okay, so I I had forgot what I was doing last time when this crashed. So I was trying to find out what the radio frequency is for ILS. Um, for that particular airport. Um, um, so you sometimes see it here. Delta 1630 contact Memphis Center on 120 decimal. Okay, approach. Good day. Envoy 3530 contact Atlanta Center on 134 decimal 9 or 5. Good day. Enter. Yeah, okay, so here it is. The primary frequency is 109, 9 or 50. So I'm just going to put that into the, the nav. Okay, so it's not moving in the UI, but it's moving. The value is changing in the uh, on the garment. 10950 Little tricky. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna swap it, so that's active. Alright, that was it. So now whenever I get in range, then um, I can I can start using that. Alright, cool. So uh, I'm going to show some readings. It's going to be my bearing one. Going to one three two decimal two five jet low one three eight one. Okay. All right, cool. So here goes the ILS. So whenever I do start to get into range, uh, I'm going to switch to approach mode, and um, and I think that'll change this from GPS to nav one. So you'll see a d a different color. Once we get to cruising speed, we'll start to pick up, uh, cruising altitude, we'll start to pick up on the speed a little bit there. So let's see what's going on. So after fiber is uh, BSOM. Holy moly. Didn't realize how much, how much more I got. 
Alright, so 7 minutes up until here. 15 knots mile range. Generic 778, you are 41 miles west. Descend and maintain 3,000 feet. Expect ILS runway 6 approach via Oscar Kilo Whiskey transition. Clear to Oscar Kilo Whiskey. Generic 2 November Sierra contact Birmingham departure on 124 decimal niner. Good day. Descend and maintain 3,000 feet. Expect ILS runway 6 approach by Oscar Kilo Whiskey transition clear to Oscar Kilo Whiskey generic 778. Alright, so I learned, and I don't know if it's true with this plane, but this, that, this bar right here, uh, this little bar right here, measures the, the airspeed. Alright, so I'm hitting 120 knots, so that lets me know that I'm at my cruising altitude. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna start flying a little faster. So it's about okay, so I'm at 13,000, so I think it's off at 300. So let's try it here see what it does. So FLC mode is on. Beachcraft to Juliet Alpha climb and maintain 16,000 feet. Oh, okay, so I think it's 200. Nope, I don't know. Maybe it's 100. But they want me to go to 16,000. Atlantis Center Alaska 770 is passing flight level 370 descending 10,000 feet. I wonder if I should just go to 16,000 regardless. I always end up at 16,000. Oops. Okay, 16,000. FLC mode. Going to push this down to 90 knots. We'll get a real steep climb. Generic zero golf alpha contact Atlanta Center on one three two decimal two five. We're at five we're about five nautical miles until Generic we hit two five. You know, I don't think okay. I ever acknowledged I don't think one, I acknowledged three, two, that. Decimal, two, Yep. Zero so let's see if I can do it before you start talking again. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so pers personally I do like the communication with, with, with ATC. It, it, as you can tell, the flights can get pretty boring if you're doing autopilot, but why wouldn't you do autopilot? Um, trying to fight, trying to fight staying on the magenta line can be, can be tough sometimes. But once you get everything set up, I mean, it's it's just pretty, it's pretty boring. I, I would think it would be very different if you're actually in a plane because you're just like looking at this. Uh, just you just be in amazement of the reality of this. So at that point, would you just be a pilot that's sightseeing, and your autopilot is still doing the work? Uh, 
roughly two nautical miles until we get to fiber. Okay, let's see. That looks okay. Nothing out of the ordinary here. That's fuel on the left wing. None of these buttons work. Uh, these buttons work. So I, I get a little bit jumpy whenever I hear like a little bit of static in my headset that lets me know there's a potential that the game could crash. <laughs> I've gotten so far. Have I? I don't know. No fighter. If it crashes again, then we'll we at least know what waypoint we we were working with. So fibers in. Nope, Bessem. All right, so now we're on the Bessem route. SM to Minim, Yusef, Man, that is it. That's a long way. Good day. Alright, so we're not getting the 16,000 uh, qu quick enough. So let's drop this down to 80 knots. See where that takes us. Looks like we're getting there. Still a gorgeous view. So I wonder if these things down here are rain clouds. It's actually raining. So look at that. Oops. Look at the trim. So the autopilot's doing that for you, so you don't have to keep messing with it. That 41%, 42. I'd have to keep, uh, I'd have to keep doing that manually. Oh, this vertical speed? Oh man, I'm trying to keep that under control sometimes. We're still at 80 knots. GPS, I don't, know, I don't like. So the GPS out here is is broken compared to the GPS that's in here. It says I'm on the right path in here. So they want me to get to 16,000 feet. I don't know what else I can do. That's it. Then I'm just going to play around with here and start going to some dangerous levels. So I can't do 70. So far, I've seen when you have it set to 80, it'll, it'll be around 79 or 78. So I guess the max is 72. I don't want to have it at 72. Yeah, that works. Getting some more climb, that's good. Delta 220 
74. So that's funny. If you see this, Going to one, two, there's seven, a seven, 19 one, two, knot two, two, wind zero, coming one. in from the left. If you look at this, I'm not flying straight. Oh, it's not even acknowledging it anymore. So now I'm doing this manually. I'm still on autopilot. So if I let go, it'll 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 go up again. So I'm, I'm keeping it down just enough so that I'm still climbing. I'm letting go just slightly. Atlanta Center Delta Seven Nine Tree is passing flight level three five zero, descending one zero thousand feet. Delta Seven Nine Tree, Atlanta Center, continuous plan. So I've, I've let go of the yoke. Seems to be back. Uh, there's no thing. There's no thing there. So I guess he's just gonna. He's just gonna do. He's gonna do what it's gotta do to get to 16. So it's there. This should level off. Then I should start picking up speed. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is that other that other flight getting out there is just gonna take way too long. So let's see if we can find a Oh you guys you guys can leave me alone. Let's see if there's any airports with an ILS. Ah, there's J uh J uh, no KJFX, that's twenty not that's twenty nautical miles. So let's go there. That'll be fun. So we're gonna, uh, now that we have it selected, we're gonna go direct to. And we're gonna activate. Is there a way? JFX. Let's see if I can select the approach here now that I have it selected. Please expedite your climb 16,000 feet. Nope. KMLU, okay. American 2319 so Atlanta Center. Clear this out. Uh, clear that out. Let's go back to the nearest. Twenty-two nautical miles, so that means that it's in the opposite direction of us. Uh KTCL is getting closer. So let's go with that one. I'm going to do a direct flight there. We're going to activate it. So now GPS is turning. I did not, but I'm going to acknowledge it anyway because I'm doing it. I'm doing my own thing. One two seven decimal one for Beechcraft two Juliet Alpha. KTCL. Okay, so let's choose a landing. Let's choose a landing for this one. So this activate approach. This goes back to your previous approach that you had. So select approach. So let's select a new approach. Uh, is that one KTCL? Good. Okay, KTCL. They only have one ILS. Sure. With that. Uh, I don't really know what the minimums are. It's usually like 200. Their primary frequency is 109 or 1. Let's just get this going first. Alright, 109 or 1. Jet card 604, contact Memphis Center on 120 decimal 8. Good day. Alright, so that's what's going on. If it's on, that doesn't look like it 
and I can put this out of the pad. Let's see here, approach loaded. It looks like it's loaded, but that doesn't look like a proper ILS approach. Usually there's a very there's a very straight line, so you can tell this um, unless unless there is a you know what I don't know. Uh, so let's actually it's usually you have to come down. Yeah, usually about fifteen hundred or or, or two thousand. Let's do vertical. Come down. Uh, so now that we're picking up speed, 120, when it gets to around 160, is where we're gonna be in danger. So what we can do is play around with the propeller speed. So push that down to about 50. That should help. We're already at 140. Let's put down the throttle. So you can hear the engine kind of slowing down. So now we're at like we're dropping down to like 135. So good. So because of that, let's go ahead and push it a little more. I want to make a fast ascent because I, I don't know what's going on with this with this approach. <laughs> So 1,500 feet. That is the approach that's loaded. Uh, let's go ahead and load. Let's see what that does. Okay, there we go. There we go. That that's what I like to see. So in order for um, the uh, the approach mode to happen. Um, you, you need to be at a certain height. It doesn't show you in the game right now, but if you have the PDF documents from Sky Vector, it'll show you um, for this particular airport, you need to be at a certain height. Usually it's about 1,500 to 2,000. So I'm just going to drop to 2,000 and we'll see if it, we'll see if it catches. And that really would depend on if I got the right frequency. I think I did. You, if you were doing this for real, you would, you would, you would have all this planned out before. Alright, what's going on? Alright. Just descending pretty rapidly. Look at that altitude. Just nicely drop. We're at 130 uh, knots air airspeed. Airspeed's at 130. All right, uh, about 19 nautical miles to get to Flousey. Atlanta Center Air Transport 3486 is at level 370, descending 10,000 feet. Okay, so this is interesting. I think this is going to be a problem. So Flossy is over here. The route looks like you're going to be turning here. So if it just keeps going, it could just, it, it could just keep going. So there goes our fuel. We can switch. So I'm going to find the communication for that that place we're going to. Is it Memphis? I don't even know. Uh, so I don't have like any airport information here. Oh, I do have. Yes, I let's see if it's in my flight plan. I don't know if that gets updated. Uh, no, it's, it still has the old flight plan K KTC. No, it doesn't. That's a new one. 
right? KTCL. All right, let me see if I can find any information on KTCL. So I'm going to use, I don't know how to use this stuff, so I'm going to use the ATC by here. Um, Southwest one, two, four. Atlanta Center, Center Beachcraft November 42 Juliet Alpha is at 9,700 feet, climbing 16,000 feet. Beachcraft November 42 Juliet Alpha Atlanta Center QNH 30 decimal zero eight continue to minim as planned. Minim. All right. Atlanta yeah. Center Southwest 1241 is at flight Don't level 370, descending 10,000 feet. Southwest 1241 Atlanta Center continue as planned. Okay, good. KTCL. Uh, let's go to that tower, which is 1263. Um, is there a way to do it? Air shuttle 6223 contact Atlanta Center on 134 decibel 05. Into that. Okay, so it did actually do it for me. I put it in standby, so let's switch to that. It is now active. So um, it's Tulsa. All right, so I'm there. I don't know if I need to be on Atlanta Center or if, or if that one's fine. We're doing stuff our way now, so kind of on our own. All right, so I'm going to follow this line, but if I see that I'm going past here, I'm just going to go ahead and take it off autopilot, and get it into Tusk. I wonder. Yeah, it's not there. So I might have to come in, I might have to do it manually because there's no way of changing this. This has the, this has the old stuff in there. Oh, there it is. Hey, neat. Keeps okay, cool. So, so yeah, so Flossie is 45 nautical miles away from us. That, that doesn't, that doesn't look right on here. This, this is five nautical miles. Uh, Flossie is way over there. So I'm going to have to switch to Tusk and just go with that. So I'll, once I start flying over here, once I start passing this, then I'll just go ahead and switch it switch it to, to Tusk. Tusky. It is kind of nice on having ATC talk your talk your ear up <laughs> oh yeah it's cloud time there goes a rainbow where exactly is the we've already passed the airport okay airport's behind us there somewhere. Oh, there it is. The um, I saw the the uh, lights. All right, so we are ascending nicely. We'll start to level off some. Oh look, it's turning by itself. Well that's that's comforting, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Alright, cool. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into get this out of the way. There you are. I'm gonna go ahead and put down my first flaps. And as soon as we line up, then I'll go into um, approach mode. 
So I'm going to keep an eye on this airspeed. Probably put my propeller up some. Airspeed's going down. There it is lining us up. That's nice. I'm going to go ahead and get this up some. All right, so there it goes. All right, so let's do an approach mode. No, not doing approach mode. My. <laughs> Throttle down some. And approach. Yep. Autopilot is on. Do I need to go down to 1500? Yeah, let's go down. Coming up pretty fast. All right, so we're gonna take off autopilot and just get this. Get this thing. Oh yeah, we're, we're second. I got my second uh, flaps on. I'm gonna do my landing gear as soon as it's in the white. Uh, down that down here for the airspeed. Uh, I'm already coming in hot. So I got my landing gears up. Or down. I wanna try and get over a little bit more. I'm gonna pull up and just try and alright. Cut off my throttle. Kinda glide. I'm hitting on the brakes. Here's uh, an opportunity to taxi off of the runway. You can you can see there's some rain outside. That's that's pretty awesome. All right, stop. Put on my parking brakes. So, I mean, this place looks like it has has a tower. So I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna cancel IFR. Atlanta Center Beechcraft to Juliet Alpha. Cancel IFR at this time. Beechcraft to Juliet Alpha. Our flight plan is canceled. Radar service terminated. Squad one two zero zero. Okay, ground service. So apparently I'm at Brigham. Mm, parking. Okay, there's no one there. So, alright. So this is, uh, I guess this is one of those I took my parking brake off. This is one of those places where they just don't have support. So we're just going to do it ourselves. I'm going to put up my flaps. It 
takes it, it takes a while for the plane to pick up, then it just kind of cruises. So it's slow, and there's been a bunch of times where I'll hit 1400 RPM, 2000, just to kind of pick it up, and then it just gets out of control. So it's one of those games where you just have to be patient. Who wants to be patient playing a video game? Not me. So we're going to, I feel like we're going a little too fast, right? 12.80. So I don't know what that means. I'm going to break that. I'm going to break the fourth wall. Yeah, so now I feel like we're just we're just going too fast. <laughs> Find some parking. Gonna apply the brakes and try and get to this open parking spot over here. Not that one over there, but this one over here. Get out of my way, bro. Is that gas? There's the non functioning tower. And here's some gas. Alright, so there's a guy over there. So I'm going to see if. Oh, he's not for me. I think if I announced my landing properly, then they would have had the right people here. So I guess at this point I just get to park myself. I've done it before. I don't need your help. I put on my brakes. Look at that, that's almost, that's almost perfect. Almost. Alright, so uh, we ended up, yeah, that, that other trip was just too long. That, that, was, that was not going to work out. <laughs> that was not going to work out. Alright, so let's actually see how Microsoft um, um, recorded this. Turn off my engine. And avionics.